uh, welcome guys in our talent open studio so here we are going to retrieve or download files from azure storage blob container so in our last tutorial you have seen that uh, how can we upload any file to our azure blob container and here we are going to assuming that you have already a microsoft azure account so here how can we retrieve or download files from azure so first of all we are going to create a azure storage connection then we are going to use list of files on azure storage blob container by providing the name of the container and the folder then we are going to use get azure storage blob container and set the local path or directory path where you want to download the files apart from this we are going to show the name of the file which is going to be downloaded so these are the component which we are going to use to connect our talent to azure storage account the azure storage list to provide the list of the files uh, which is available on azure storage blob container then the storage get to download the file from the container to our local drive then the java component is going to show the message okay so guys you can see this is the path where we want to download all the files from azure now we are going to our azure here you can see i have already a storage account that is mobile okay and uh, this is the my container name so i'm going to show you my container this is the my container name and uh, in this container you can see the files folder and uh, in the files folder you can see all the files which we are going to download with the help of talent so actually network is very slow so it is taking some time now here you can see these are the files which we are going to download okay so i'm just going to show you these are the files so i am going to my talent open studio here first of all i am going to create a job create job um, download files from azure okay this is the name of our job then finish it now we have a blank job right now and what we are going to do first of all <coughs> yeah first of all yeah just pin this yeah okay so here you can see there is a metadata and in metadata i have a azure storage and i have already built a built a connection to connect my azure okay so first of all in my job what i am going to do i am going to use yeah okay okay so first of all i am going to use t azure connection so create a connection to microsoft azure so because i have already a connection so in i am going to double click on it and in the t azure storage connection in property type i am going to choose repository in repository i have already a metadata and in metadata azure storage then there is a connection i'm going to choose it and uh, this is the name of the storage you can see that storage account name and this is the account key and protocol if you so 
you can see that uh, I have already built a connection to connect my Azure from Talent. So if you have the accounts and account key and the protocol, then you can provide it over here. Okay. Uh, if you want to learn how can you build build a connection to connect to your Azure from Talent, then you can go through my previous tutorials where you can find out the solution also. So here I am going to use another component that is the Azure storage list. Okay, so this component is very useful to provide all the files from the Azure. So I'm just going to connect my connection to Azure storage list here. Uh, you can see that it is also asking the connections. So I am going to use my existing connection. And on the container name, it is going to ask the container name. So I am going to my Azure and this is my container name and uh, okay and the uh, prefix suppose you have multiple folders then and you want to retrieve any specific uh, folder then you can provide the name of that folder so here in my case this is the name of my folder I'm just going to copy it and paste it ok control V now you can see I did it ok and uh, die on error if you want to check it then I'm going to execute my job right now so you can see it is connected okay and it is running successfully now I want to see the name of the files in the Azure so I am going to use T Java T Java component this component is very useful because it provides a way to write some custom code okay so in my case I'm just going to show the name of the files system.io system.out then print then I need some argument so I'm I need the information from Mm. So here you can see that is T storage list and there is current job. So I'm just going to drag and drop it here. Okay. And now I'm going to run my job. Then see what is going to be happen then it is going to null it is going to show you as null so that is this is the null so there is something wrong so i am just going to delete this delete and going to iterate ok now rerun my job and see what is going to be happen so you can see it is showing the name of the files which is available on azure you can see over there this is the name of the files which is now available in azure so now we are going to download this file to this location so we are going to use another component of talent that is clear we are going to use another component 
from mature we are going to storage get so this component is going to be you download files from a microsoft azure storage container and iterate iterate to azure get list okay now what i can uh, there are some settings i need to do first of all i have to choose the connection so go to the connection component and choose existing component then container name we have already a container that is my container and provide the container container name here then the local folder it is going to be us local folder and this is the our local folder path copy this and paste here and if you want to create a parent directory then you can choose it but uh, the name of the blob so i am going to use that is my files i think that yeah these are the files yeah copy this and go to the talent and paste here okay now we did all the settings and if you want to include all the subdirectories then you can choose it okay and if you want to create a parent directory then you can choose it like as is okay now our package is almost ready now we are going to run this package okay so i am just going to execute my package so i am going to show you what settings i did for azure storage gate number one provide the connection then container name then the file local folder path then the blob directory path name sorry now i am going to run this okay now you can see i am just going to open this okay just going to show you what is going in it then it is going to be start then you can see file folder has been created and these are the files which is coming from the azure and here in the you can see the name of the files which is going to be download from the azure and t java component is showing this message to us on the screen and now we are going to our folder you can see all the files is coming from the azure to our local drive if i am going to refresh this and in these in there you can see that these are the files okay i am just going to show you in a very in the big screen so you can oh, oh so you can see the these files also and these are the my blob container okay here you can see these are the files which is downloaded from azure and in our blob storage we can show you and these are the files which is downloaded from the azure to our local drive so i am going to show you the list of these files also so so view details in the details you can see the name of the files and on this drive you can see the name of these files also okay so you can see these these are the files so guys so guys you can see 
the files on your Azure as well on your local drive. So these are the files which is coming from your Azure storage container. So you can see it is very easy to download files from Azure to your local drive as well as upload your files from local drive to Azure. So here we have learned that uh, we need a connection to connect my talent to Azure then a storage list component to provide the list of all the files on the Azure storage then T Java component to write some custom codes to show some messages and T Azure storage get to get all the files from Azure to our local drive so guys please subscribe my channel on YouTube to learn more on talent Azure SQL Server SSIS SSRS Python R data modeling data warehouse so we are going to pull some more videos on new topic like power bi tableau and micro strategy also thank you for watching us please don't forget to buzz the bell icon on the screen to get a alert for our incoming new videos